Hi, my name is David Brown. I'm an applications engineer for Hawk Ridge Systems. And today we're going to talk about creating a sheet metal part that has a complex geometry cut into it. If I flatten this out, we can see that the flat pattern actually has those cutouts in it. And sometimes this can be quite challenging to do, so we're going to demonstrate that today. And I'm going to switch back over here to a part. Basically what I have is I just have a, a cone shape here that's uh, 3 inches diameter at the base, 3 inches tall, and with a draft angle about 10 degrees, you could create this any way you'd like. And then I also have a sketch in here that I'll be using in a little bit. And the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to shell this out. I'm going to keep a thickness there. And I'm going to remove the top two faces. And then I'm going to use this sketch to create a cut through all. What this does is this gives me a separation uh, that the sheet metal command can use to unfold this. And basically what I'm going to do now is go over to my sheet metal tab and insert a bend. And what I'm going to do is I select one of the edges and what this does is that this is the fixed edge and this is important to do and all I need to do at this point is just go ahead and hit OK on that and if you notice what this has done, SolidWorks has done, is it has added a couple different features into my feature manager tree the flatten bends and the process bends and if I select the flatten tool it basically flattens that out based on my selection of my edge Okay, in this flattened state this is where I want to go ahead and input that geometry that I'm going to cut in here. But here's the tricky part. This is the part that's not obvious. What you need to do is roll back the feature manager tree to a position between the flatten bends and the process bends feature. And what this does is this will allow me to go ahead and put that sketch geom or sketch that geometry and make a cut in there between those two things and thereby giving me the, the holes that I want or the pattern that I want to be cut into the flat pattern of this. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm going to select on this face, begin a sketch, do normal two, and what I'm going to do is take a, I want to put a, uh, an arc down the center of this, so I'll select a three point arc and I'll put each end on the midpoints and I'll take this, hold control key down, make a concentric relationship on there and I'm going to turn that into construction geometry and that's going to be a curve that I'm going to use to pattern my feature. The next thing I want to do is I'll grab whatever uh, cut that I want to make. In this case I'll just use a polygon here and I'll attach that up here. Go ahead and put a dimension on that. Make it a half inch or so and then I'm going to attach this to this edge with a coincident mate, thereby fully defining that. On my Features tab, I'll extrude that cut and I'm going to link to thickness on that and then hit OK. So now I have my cut begun and what I need to do is I need to have that arc visible so I'm going to highlight that and, and show that so I can see that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pattern this with my pattern tool and I'm going to use a curve driven pattern. The curve of course is that sketch and I'll make eight of those on there and for features I'm going to go ahead and select that cut and as you can see my preview builds those in there. I hit OK and now I've created that pattern across my flat pattern of my sheet metal. I'm going to go ahead and hide this because I don't need that sketch anymore. And when I return to my sheet metal tab, at this point what I, what I will do is I'm going to roll to the end. And you can see I'm still in a flat pattern state. And when I hit the, uh, unflatten that to, to suppress that, it returns and now my geometry is all cut in this cone shape sheet metal part. So in today's video, we, we talked about, uh, we used a curve driven pattern and we created some complex geometry in this cone shape. 
uh, sheet metal and so now this can be actually flattened out and sent to a laser cutter and cut in that pattern and then fold it back up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Please subscribe to Hawk Ridge Systems YouTube channel and thanks for watching.